Hello everyone, I'm going to give you a quick rundown on the Precious Plastic Tabletop Injection Molding Machine. So the one big difference between the classic Precious Plastic Machine to this one is the arm ball here. So this gives us about maybe four times more force into the barrel. So we can inject into tighter tolerances. Alright, to get started you will need to do a few adjustments. First of all, what you need to know is that this is the tube where you've been filling up plastic with. So you fill up the plunger, fill up your plastic in there, and then you'll push down, and then here you've got a spring lever. So if I press down, see, it presses down on the lever. So when I'm molding and I'm done, and I release, release it. So I put pressure on the mold, and then when I'm done, it releases itself. Then you can um, take your mold out and demold your mold. All right. The second feature what you need to know is up here is where we adjust the height. So the so that adjusts the height of this whole piece here. This whole piece here. Because depending on your mold height, you might need to change it up and down. Alright. Okay. And then this is what the nozzle looks like. It's a chamf chamfered nozzle. So when you make the mold, you need a hole like this. Like that. So this basically will sit on there just like that. Alright? And then you reject. So, what you also need to know if you've set that or this to the to this minimum distance, so it's maximum or it's lowest position, and you stop in your mold. Stop. So here's my mold. Mold set. Right. So that will make this. See how narrow my mold is. Look how low my mold is. So if you if you want to, if you need to, you need a block to give you a bit of height to meet the, this spout up to match and seal against this nozzle. All right. All right. So I'm going to use this mold here. See the height is a bit. The height of the nozzle is a little bit too high, so I need to adjust here. We'll need to go a little bit down and you can see that I've used a building block to give it also a little bit more height because my mold is quite thin so I'm starting to go down a bit there we go okay so I've got some plastic so it's touching here this can also adjust up and down you can pick it up and down so that's what you want so you want this so it's good that it rests on here and it should be able to go into this sprout here as well all right so let's just make sure it locks in see it's locked in now so it doesn't move anywhere so it's perfect what you want to see now is the nozzle self extruding so what i mean by that is plastic should freely run out of here and then I need to fill up here first because I think it's quite empty now there's nothing in there so I need to fill this up with plastic wait until it heats up and then should self extrude that means the machine is ready right now it's still quite cold right.
this point you need to slide the mold to meet up with the nozzle it should lock, lock in there we go it can even rotate around so what you'll need to do now is actually push down on the lever and as fast as possible so with this mold plastic extrudes on the side There we go, done. Now we just need to lift it up. Then lift this up if you need to. Or you can just slide it out. Oh, let's lift it up.